The news football fans have either been dreading or loving. Whether you're a United fan or you're a football fan, I don't know how you react to this, but Eric Tan Hag has been sacked by Manchester United after two or three and a bit years now. Not surprised. I mean, especially that performance yesterday against West Ham was an absolute joke. I mean, Dallow's miss felt very similar to Gerard's penalty. If you know, you know, to get Roy Hudson sacked. Um, but yeah, very, very crazy times. First of all, thank you, Eric. You've made fantastic memories of Liverpool fan. In particular, 7 0. The 3 1 loss we don't care about it was a bad season. We still won 7 0. But, like I said, eras have to end. That's your words. I'm paraphrasing. You're gone now. Unfortunate. Hold that. You failed. It is what it is. Surprisingly, though, a rogue opinion. But do you think Eric Ten Hag had a better career at United than Arteta so far? Bearing in mind he's won Carabao Cup, NFA Cup, got him to Champions League. That's that, that, that's, that's valid. I know Arsenal fans want to say they challenged City. No one cares for that. We got 92 points. We got 98 points. It's second place. Nobody cares. Challenging City, winning no trophies, does not matter. I'm a Liverpool fan and I don't you know at all but do you think that, you, that Tan Hogs had a better season because if you're an Arsenal fan you would definitely want to win trophies no matter what you say yeah just a random one I know Arsenal fans are going to get mad now but I do apologise but still he's gone he's spent a billion or close to a billion failed now the real bold Dutch managers come in Arne Schlott and done bits yes yesterday's game against Arsenal was our worst game all season. Arsenal didn't play amazing, let's be honest. They've got one long ball over Robertson. Robertson got cooked all game. Saka got a golden goal to all game. Gabriel and Tim got injured. We were terrible. It's our worst game all season. We played bad. People want to say Arsenal played good. And I'm doing the Arsenal right. It's not Arsenal, just the, obviously the recent game. We played terrible. We deserved to lose that game. And we somehow... somehow Managed to scrape a draw. To me, it still feels like a loss, though. We didn't do anything crazy. I still feel like we lost. That feels like a loss to me. I, 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 I cannot accept. I just can't accept that, in my opinion. Do you know what I mean? So, for that reason, to me, it is classed as a loss. I'm looking in the mirror now. I'm looking for phones in the mirror. That's quite funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Tanar's gone. Rude Van Nistelrooy is now the temporary manager. Wonder how he would do. Hopefully he's still just as bad as Tan Hag. But I don't know. Comment down below you guys think. What you think about it, sorry. Really, really weird one. Today is the Ballon d'Or. So I'll have a Ballon d'Or stream on my TikTok. Cole Griffin 18. Check it out. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Also subscribe. We're literally 31. 31 away from 2,000 subscribers. Can we get by the end of the year? I'm begging, please. We're so close. 31 in a month and a half. Can we do it? It's not. Please, I'm begging you, please, please, please. Everyone drop a follow, drop a subscribe, give a like, comment what you think about Tan Hag. Do you think he's a good appointment? He's gone. Do you think Van Nistel is a very smart choice? Should have waited longer? I don't know. But that's all for the video. I've got enjoyed it, but like, like I said, comment, subscribe. I will see you midweek. We've got Brighton, match reaction then. I might do a video on the Ballon d'Or winner. I think it's Rodri, because apparently Ramage players have not turned up. But yeah, crazy day. Wait and see. See what happens. And we go from there. Like I said, love you all. God bless you. And peace.